Bob Weep, Grog, and Weep, Nitty Bob, my fellow addicts. This is TF 1024, the Transformers addict here. And um, I, I, again, I sincerely apologize. That was really stupid on my part because I forgot I muted this mic. But um, I'll probably edit out the whole beginning of this stream. But I just wanted to do, take a quick moment of your guys' time and uh, show you guys that, you know, uh, <laughs> Dragon Storm's an Autobot. I'm not going to beat around the bush. Dragon Storm is indeed an Autobot. And I'm going to show you guys the photo right now. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be really interesting to see. Very, very excited for how this is going to be. Um, again, I am so sorry about that. That was absolutely my fault. That was very unprofessional. I just totally forgot. I'm a human. I make mistakes. I'm sorry. Um, but, you know, it, it happens. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you guys this picture, and I will go ahead and get right down to it. So we're going to take a look at the stream real quick. Hey, you know, stream within a stream. Oh, oh, oh. No, not that, not that, not that, not that, not that, not that. Go away. Okay. We're going to take a look at this. Take a look at this. Take a look at Dragonstorm. I'm going to zoom in as far as I can. We're going to scroll down just a little bit. And if you can see it right down there, that the way they've been promoting these toys, uh, they've been showing the symbol on the lower bottom left with the CG render. We can confirm that Dragonstorm is indeed an Autobot. And I am very, very confused as well as very pleased with this because, uh, yeah, it, it's very odd. Very odd. I thought that he was going to be a Decepticon and... Um, you know, just uh, absolutely ridiculous that, um, I, I, not even ridiculous, I'm so sorry. I just find it absolutely astonishing that he is actually an Autobot. It's very weird. It is very, very weird. I do not know how to feel about this. I thought he was going to be like a legit Decepticon character. He was going to be some sort of evil guy just because he was like a, he was a dragon. I'm trying to keep up with the live chat, by the way. Again, guys, I am so sorry. That was a total mistake on my part um but yeah you can see right here his faction symbol for at least the toy is going to be um is going to be an autobot if it plays out in the movie then hey that's a good thing if not then you know it, it, you can't really you know say anything there but it happens so basically yeah faction confirmed for toy movie is unknown however um, two people have brought up some good points, and I was in a Skype call with them, um, and we talked a bit. We were just hanging out, playing Minecraft, that sort of thing on PlayStation, and uh, one of them, a, a very a good uh, acquaintance of mine, Cooler, right, Leader of Prime Targets, he mentioned that um, during during the, uh, during the trailer for Transformers last night, we saw Dragonstorm flying past the mountain. Um, almost in front of a, a knight while, while he was uh, riding a horse. He, and they, it was running towards him. And what I was going to think was during the next scene, it was like Dragonstorm was going to stop in front of him and then sort of maybe try to attack him. But I could be wrong about that, but he brought up a good point there. And then my other friend, MK former W1N, brought up the point that we see the billboard for, for the last night in New York, how it's basically... Optimus Prime versus Dragonstorm. And now that we know that Optimus Prime is actually evil, you know, courtesy of, like, corruption or the creator messing with his head or something, um, it would make sense as to why they would be fighting, and it'd be very interesting to see. So I'm sort of confused as to what's going on. This movie raises a lot of questions, answers some, but raises many more. And uh, it just looks very interesting. And I did not notice this firsthand. I was just paying attention to the render, and I didn't even notice the little symbols. So that's really cool. I'm pretty pleased about this. The box art looks really nice. I love the fact that they show off his dragon mode instead of his robot mode. I'm glad to know that he has a robot mode for transformation and quite possibly even the movie. But I just wanted to take a small moment of your time and share that with you guys. I thought that was really, really interesting, and it was very different. So, yeah. Um... I feel like as though he's going to be an Autobot as the toy. But then again, with Lockdown, courtesy of Explicit in the comments, thank you. Um, he also said that in the toy, he was a Decepticon. 
So Dragonstorm might be the same thing. Or maybe he might not be. I don't know. This is very interesting. This is a little bit of an update. Uh, it's just, it's very interesting. That, that's honestly all I can say. Dragonstorm might be an Autobot. In fact, I'm going to actually, you know, uh, edit the... I, I'm actually going to edit the... Uh, the title right now just because I'm not 100% sure and I don't want to make any false accusations, but I will say this. Dragonstorm might be an Autobot, and that's going to be very interesting to see if that is all possible. Um, so yeah, that's that's honestly it. That's all I really wanted to say in this video. Uh, be sure to stay tuned for TFTC episode number 46, probably sometime tomorrow evening. Uh, I will be out most of the day going down to um, Oblivion Cards and Games down in Tampa. Uh, if you guys don't know what that is, please, by all means, go ahead and, um, you know, look it up. It, it's, it's a pretty cool place. I got back into Yu-Gi-Oh!, so like I said, I'll be getting more cards and such. But that's really pretty much all there is to say for this. So, yeah, Dragon Storm might be an Autobot. That's going to be very interesting. If that happens, that's going to be very, very interesting, and I'm super excited. And, uh, yeah, I'm just looking forward to more toy review or toy reveals. I hope we get some more, you know, I hope we get a look at the slideshow tomorrow of, like, Onslaught and Lockdown. Hooligan, Mohawk, possibly Cogman if he's a thing. Um, just a bunch of other characters. I just cannot wait to see more toys. If that's all we get for today, then I'm pretty sure tomorrow is going to bring something new. And if not, then, you know, the whole Toy Fair Week thing might be canceled. But, hey, you know, what are you going to do? Anyway, guys, with all that being said, thank you very much for watching. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section down below. Do you think Dragonstorm might be an Autobot? Do you like the name Dragonstorm? What do you think of his alt mode and robot mode? Please, by all means, hit me up down in the comment section down below with your thoughts because that's what the Transformers Thought Central is all about. So with all that being said, that's really pretty much it. So, as usual, if you haven't hit that... I already screwed up my outro. <laughs> it's late. If you happen to enjoy this video, please, by all means, hit that like button. If you happen to not like this video, then hey, hit that dislike button. If you want to see more of my awesome videos and you're new to the channel, please be sure to hit that big red subscribe button because this is the only channel where your entertainment will be transformed. And if you want to be notified on all my latest videos as they come out, by all means, please go ahead and hit that little bell icon, give it a little dingling, so that way you'll be notified as to when my latest videos are to be uploaded. And if you would like to contact me in any way, shape, or form, please go ahead and do so by leaving a comment down in the comment section down below. Post or message me via the Facebook page. Also, like the Facebook page and follow me on Instagram for exclusive clips, info, and the latest coverage on the Transformers franchise as it continues. And once you message me, please be respectful, be appropriate, be patient, and I'll reply to you guys as soon as I can. But with all that being said, my fellow addicts, that's really pretty much all there is to say. So, please remember, until next time, to get addicted, stay addicted, and TF Addicts for life. And stay tuned for episode number 46 of the Transformers Thought Central. This is TFA1024, the Transformers Addict, rolling out. Peace.